Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here with Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Part 24. And yes, I do mean that. Um, here's Hunter, he's about to give me the orb. He says, you're really good, I'm going to have to come up with some harder games. For now, take this orb. I guess you earned it. What he means to say is, I'm sorry I'm such a fucking asshole that I made you work so fucking hard for this orb. Here, you deserve it. <laughs> Like, honest to God, I can't even tell you how many, uh, things it took, uh, you know, tries it took for me to get that. I just kept doing it, and over, and, like, just over and over and over again, and just having to run all around this thing and collecting them. And when I got to 14, he was actually at 13 this time. He was running towards one, I jumped and grabbed it right in front of him, and that's how I won. So yeah, now that we're done with that bullshit, let's get out of here. Because we've completely 100%ed uh, <coughs> Autumn Plains. So now we need to um, check our guidebook and see how we're doing. Alright, everything 100%. Everything 100%. Winter Tundra, Tundra 31%. We gotta go back to there now. And, um, I really appreciate, um, I know it's kind of silly for me to say this because I don't know, um, what the comments are gonna be until I see them, but for those of you who give me support, gave me support during those episodes, I really appreciate it. And, um, also, um, for those of you who don't mind me uh, doing that, I also appreciate that too. It really means a lot to me to know that I have such awesome viewers. Anyway, back here in um, Winter Tundra, you'll notice that once you've uh, destroyed the boulders, they don't come back so that you can get confused and think that there's another one for you to destroy. No. But there is this little secret passage down here that's kind of hidden, but kind of not. As you walk along it, you're going to be collecting um, gems. And uh, if you don't have sparks, then it's a little bit harder to do so. That water is completely safe, but be careful if you jump into it because um, you can accidentally go over the edge and die. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. There's nothing I can do about it. Hold on. Ah! That was a bad one, but uh, that was alright, I guess. Um, I might have another one, though, in a minute. Um, what you want to do now is you kind of do want to swim along here. The speedway's right here. Yes, there is one more speedway to do. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro? It's not that expensive, you know. Sure. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Hold on a second, yes. Ah, I just really had to blow my nose there. Okay. Oh, what the hell, let's check it out. I wasn't going to, because if I remember right, this is a pretty difficult one. But let's find out. I mean, they're all difficult. I don't know if I should still be trying. Yeah, let's hit the let's hit the lava. Yeah, he doesn't count as a death or anything, so you might as well if you're fucking up too much. The music here is kind of cool, though. This also has one of the hardest, uh, oops, missions in it. Just go back. Get that one that we missed. There we go. 
We should be okay, I think. Nope, I missed one. Of course, it's screwed. Because then you're supposed to uh, start charging along this to kill those one guys. Since I already killed a few of them. Time's up! And for all those crazy taxi lovers, I hope you enjoyed that. I think ignoring those guys is actually for the best. Oh, god damn it, I missed him again. There we go. Ah. You can't do a uh, quick uh, flip or you know, so to speak. Just die. Got the rings though this time. <coughs> Give up. During this, you do not want to hit the jump button, or you'll overdo it. <coughs> There's the uh, challenge right there. Let's do it one more time and go talk to Hunter. <coughs> we actually did pretty good for that. Uh, I guess fly through here. Here we go, yeah. Don't worry, they won't get in your way or anything. All right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Yeah, if you went and talked to him before, he's like, I'm still trying to get my uh, remote plane here to work. Uh, come back after you defeat the Speedway, and I'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to test it out. Okay, Spyro, here's what you've got to do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Press circle to fire the gun, and use the D-pad or analog stick to aim. I like how they say that, D-pad or analog stick. It's just kind of funny. Press circle to fire a gun, use your directional button or analog stick to aim, and don't miss any target during the start over. I just say, shoot like mad and you'll be good. And yes, you can hold on the button, which is what I'm doing right now. Those blimps are your biggest target because they're the hardest to hit. Go 
goes over there. Okay, I thought she had to get on that turn. Hey, Mr. Target! I remember the first time we did this, we didn't know that you could hold the button down. And so we were tapping it like crazy. And you missed a lot of targets. It's also fun to shoot at Hunter when you're going by. It doesn't mess you up or anything, it's kind of cool because he's like made of steel. <coughs> also, the bullets look like the stones that the one guy uses uh, to shoot you with in uh, Scorch. Bullshit. Hey, you Hey, I got to say my favorite phrase. Though I really shouldn't be saying it. It's not necessary to cuss over a video game. You know what the funny thing is I actually had to stop when I was doing the uh, crystal thing. I had to just stop and breathe for a minute. Because I was literally about to just toss my controller across the room. I was just like, you know what? Just, just stop. Sit for a while. Relax. Then try again. And even though, um, you know, this makes me need to turn in my man card, a little bit of tears did come to my eyes, I will admit. It's either that one or the other one that I always miss, so it's no surprise that I keep missing these. <laughs> never have I, have I missed the very first couple, like, you know, the first three. I've never missed those, so, yeah, that's something to look forward to. I'm sorry, I am going to be sniffling because I told you... And so, yeah. Hey, you nailed all of the targets. It must be because you had such a good pilot. Nah. <laughs> but thank you for the orb all the same. <coughs> Alright, orb rewarded. Quit. 
Oh boy. I'm out of water again. Okay. Last thing we need to do swim down here. Go up here. Grab that gem that I missed. Oh, thank god I held it back. Let's see, um, let's walk through here. Basically, I'm just gonna collect as many gems as I can before I run out of time, maybe. This is a fresh DVD and all that, but, um, yeah. And I need to be more careful when I make uh, cuts in this because every single time I've made a cut, I've messed up my video because I keep accidentally making the uh, continuation longer than it's supposed to be. And so I'm going to have to uh, make the video shorter than it's supposed to be, you know. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if you have enough orbs to open that, but I'm not going to talk to him yet, even if we do. Uh, let's go over here, grab this. Okay, this doesn't take you where I think it does. It is a faster way up these stairs, though. Which, how Ripto got, that, got up these so fast, I will never know. Her if you can so help it. No. Nope. All right, Spyro. You got the orbs. Defeat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. That is funny. I've never had enough orbs. Like the first time I ever played this game, I didn't have enough orbs to fight him. I'm not gonna fight him yet. There you go. Oh man, I really need to go pee now too, which kind of sucks. Here's an orb up here. Be very careful when you get it, because if you fall on the other side of this wall, you will die. And that won't be good, because then you'll be dead. And you wouldn't like that, now would you? <laughs> That's actually from a uh, awesome little book I read. It's um, something signs, and it's basically all these humorous signs of the world that people, when they made it, they didn't think that it'd be taken in this way, but it does, you know. And so basically, what it is is it's like there's a sign that says, "Do not touch anything at this place because it might explode and kill you." And so the guy puts on the little caption, he's like, and then you'd be dead, and you wouldn't like that, now would you? <laughs> uh, it's, so it's kind of funny, because like, I guess what he meant by the fact of that being funny is that he's saying, um, basically that um, it's kind of late for you to read that sign, you know? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stop this here because i really got to go to the bathroom. And then and when we come back, we'll go into the level that's right in front of me. So I will see you when I get back.